Hi everybody, it's Jamie. I'm sitting out here this morning enjoying my coffee and Carrie had asked me about the University of Arizona Cooperative Exchange Maricopa County um, garden planting calendar. So I posted that on Facebook in a PDF and I just wanted to talk a little bit about what I'm planting in October. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around and cover the schedule. So here you can see um, there's various fruits and vegetables that run along the left-hand side column, and then you can see time to harvest. So that's the amount of days from transplant to seed that you can harvest, and then the months run along the top. So here we've got October um, 16th is going to be our um, new moon, so that's when I'm going to be planting. So you know, you can see that I'm going to be doing beets and um, broccoli. You can transplant or seed. I've got a ton of broccoli seeds, so I'm going to be putting some of those in. Um, then here we've got, let's see, which one is that? Oh, that's going to be more Brussels sprouts. I'm going to seed in areas where it's thin, cauliflower, celery. You know, I've gotten some gorgeous celery in the summer months, but this is when you um, start it up. Uh, collard greens, I'll seed for those. Then moving over here, um, this is the second page. Um, I'll put in some more kale. Um, and then I'll put in some, um, oh, the lettuce leaf. So I'm not going to necessarily put in lettuce, but I am going to put in arugula. And as you can see, I've already got some arugula growing from my last video. And then I'm going to try turnips to I haven't done turnips yet. So those are some things I'm going to do. And then, you know, the schedule, it's one of those things like I put in pumpkin seeds um, in July and the time to harvest would be 90 to 120 days. So, you know, we would be harvesting around this time. Um, but, you know, as you know, we had like hundreds of degrees weather. It was really hot. So even with the watering system, I even covered them at one point, you know, with some garden cloth. Um, they just didn't make it. So, you know, all my pumpkins died this year, which was really sad. So no pumpkin. Um, but it looks like my arugula is going to grow strong. And then broccoli, uh, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, and arugula we'll have here in the next 90 days. So I'm looking forward to that. And as far as the schedule goes, you know, I don't follow it exactly to the T, but I'll tell you, I have had some disasters. Um, for instance, sunflowers, you know, you can seed those from February through July, but then you're going to want to stop. And one of the reasons was that we got some really cold rain and that cold rain um, caused all the stalks to break and it was really sad. So, um, you know, I love sunflowers, but you can't grow them year round here. So um, stick to the spring and summer months for seeding for those. So that's my little take on the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension Maricopa County um, Garden Planting Calendar um, for fruits and vegetables. And there's also a flower schedule, and I'll print that one out and, and go over that one too. But um, have a good day.